This is ENM with Ed Newsbit. Welcome back to ENN with Ed Newsbit. I'm Ed Newsbit. We start with outer space, where two brave young ish men are set to spend an entire year. Russian cosmonaut Mikhail Kornienko and American astronaut Scott Kelly took off on a Soyuz spacecraft on Saturday headed for the International Space Station. We spoke with Kelly shortly after his arrival at the ISS. Scott, I'm sure you're exhausted. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Super. Now, I think our viewers would love to know, what is it like up there? Are you having fun? <laughs> you married, Ed? Yes. You have a mother-in-law? Uh, yes, but... Well, imagine for a minute, your mother-in-law comes to stay for the weekend. Fine. But you see, you're doing renovations on your house, and uh, you're all in the same room. Now, Monday rolls around, and guess what? What? She's still there. She's not leaving. Wherever you go, there she is. You turn around, whoa, hi, Mom. Didn't need to see her in your nightie. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, morning, noon, and night, yakety yak, day after day, week after week, month after month, the same old conversations a million times until you're just... Well then, uh, good luck. Only 351 days to go. In Texas, the U.S. government showed its continued support of the environment by giving the go-ahead for a hunter to kill an endangered black rhino in Namibia and bring back the trophy. Dallas Safari Club auctioned off the license for $350,000 last year and says everything's cool because there are only 5,000 black rhino left on the continent. And with poachers killing over a thousand each year, soon there won't be any left to hunt. Oh. The Namibian government also defended the decision, stressing that the funds will be used to bring attention to the commercialization of hunting. Next on their agenda? Hunting starving Ethiopian children. Monies raised will be used to bring attention to starving Ethiopian children. And in motoring news, the 2016 models will be appearing in showrooms soon. Luxury car makers Mercedes, BMW and Lexus have decided to do away with indicators or turn signals on their new cars. One CEO who spoke with us on condition of anonymity explained. It is a cost-cutting measure, of course, but let's be real here. It's not like any of our customers are using them anyway. <laughs> And in entertainment news, Trevor Noah is set to take over American talk show The Daily Show. In so doing, he becomes only the fourth South African anyone's ever heard of. After Nelson Mandela, Charlize Theron, and that guy who did District 9. Americans took to Twitter to give Noah the thumbs up using the hashtags Yay England and Go Australia. Well, that's it from us at ENN. Join us next time for all of the news you never knew you needed. I'm Ed Newsbit. Happy April Fool's Day. Yeah, we're clear, Ed. What exactly is... where exactly is the uh, turn signal? Seriously? No, I mean, is, is it a lever or a, or, or, or a button? It's a lever, Ed. No, I, I don't think my car has one. Yeah. Yeah.